Good morning, Standard Five students. Today in this class, we will discuss about Lesson Six: Service in Moral Science. So let us start Lesson Six: Service. So what is service? First, you should know. Only a life lived in the service to other is worth living. That means when we serve others, then only our life is valuable. Otherwise, not. If we are living for ourselves a selfish life, then there is no value of our life. So our life becomes valuable when we serve others. and with our all heart so this is only the life of a person who live in the service to the others so let us discuss about this point you can see mother teresa she has spent all whole life in serving others poor children sick person and all over the world she moved and she served the needy people so what is service service is to serve the needy people those who need your help you can see here she is feeding the helpless poor child and other children those who are not able to do their work their own and they are so much poor so to them also she was serving the whole life you can see here you can help a person who is hungry you can give something to eat they don't have clothes you can give them clothes so all these things are service selfless service is very good and we should always be ready to help others you can see here you can teach also if you are teaching like a teacher so in our society many helping hands are there many people are serving others with their own heart you can see here a person is teaching the student then what happened this is a service to that boy who is who needs the help from the teacher so always we should be ready to help others in our society also many social reformers were there like raja ram mohan roy known as the maker of modern india raja ram mohan roy worked to ensure the practice of sati and child marriage was legally banned in india so this all service is done by raja ram mohan roy he is paid to remove when many evils from our society like sati pratha child marriage this was just started to revolt against all these social evils raja ram mohan roy helped the society to improve the condition of these all women and child the two contributions of ishwar chandra vidyasagar ishwar chandra vidyasagar also was a great social reformer and his two contributions were are in women's marriage and education of girls he he has focused on the marriage of widow and the education of girls our tribute to one of the greatest pioneer of education empowerment in india ishwar chandra vidyasagar he was the greatest education empowerment in india so he helped to increase the number of women's education girls education and he has also encouraged widow remarriage so all these are service to man so what is service service is doing things for others serving others people is one of the best ways to serve god if you are serving people then you are serving god it is not that you are going to the temple and worshiping the god and god will become very happy and you uh, don't help any poor and needy person you ignore them and you just move aside if you are helping others and not worshiping god then also god will become very happy and god will support you service is doing things for others that means if anything you are doing for needy or help people those who need your help then it is service and it is the best way to serve if you are serving your fellow person man then you are serving god when we serve we make a difference in the lives of others sometimes it can save the life of others also you can change the life of a person by helping them your help can make them survive if you are becoming hopeless if they are living all the hopes and they become desperate you can give them a new hope by your service you can give them a new life by your service like a poor person if you have enough to eat you can help a poor person and give some food to it you can save his life if in the winter season you have so many clothes woolen clothes and others don't have you can give one 
to to them so that they can also save their lives from the so harsh condition in the cold winter so all these service makes god happy when we are service oriented we consider the needs of people as our own if they are in pain we can feel their pain like our own pain and think of ways to help them and we should think by from heart only how can i lessen the pain of that person how can i help the person to remove these sufferings from his life or her life so this is the actual service that we consider from our heart that the people as our own suffering as our own problems as our own pain whenever we will understand this thing then only we can serve other people so this is the best way to serve people god that to serve your fellow man that means if any people any person is in trouble or in pain we should try to remove and feel the pain from our heart then only we can help the person so there is a very nice story about this uh, service so let us see that's a story also the story is service to man is service to god so there was a once an american lady called lua lua was an american lady and she had a great desire to serve god but she one day lua told her spiritual teacher that master master i am eager to serve god so one day she was very much eager she was very much uh, uh, willing to serve god so she, but she could not understood understand how i can serve god so she went, went to his spiritual teacher that is master and said that she was very much eager to serve god and asked the help from the master will you please show me the way to serve god she has asked the master to show the way how can she serve god the master said the best way to serve god is to serve your fellow man master said if you want to serve god you have to serve your fellow man then you only you can serve god god is the best way to serve god is to serve your fellow man he continued you can start your service from today itself today also you can start your service and there is a friend of mine who is sick i visit him every day but as i am busy today you may go in my place please take some food for him and care for him as i have been doing and master suggested that you can start this service from today only how you can serve master said that there is my one of my friend and i am going uh, i am going to serve him every day so you can start your service from today itself and go to my friend and help him he is sick and i visit him master said that he was visiting every day that person but today you may go in my place and in my place you can go and serve that person today and you can take some food also for him and care for him as i have been doing that means he was doing every day you can also do like me and you can go and serve that person lua felt proud and happy to have been interested with the this responsibility lua became very happy that master has so much trust and uh, he has given me, him uh, her so much uh, great responsibility of serving his own friend so she became very happy she immediately went to go to do as the master had instructed so she uh, started she immediately went and she uh, went to the master's train to serve him however when she reached the house of the sick man she found that she, he had a terrible disease that means when she reached the master's uh, friend's house she, she had seen that she that person had got a terrible disease then what happened she immediately uh, when she reached home she found that the uh, man the sick man the master's friend had very terrible disease she quickly stayed she quickly returned to master in a state of turmoil she became very much confused and she quickly returned to the master and exclaimed master you sent or uh, me to a terrible place i almost fainted from the awful smell and the miserable state of the man i left quickly lest i contract his terrible disease 
she exclaimed master that in so much terrible place you have uh, sent me and i was going to faint so immediately i have returned from the uh, house of that sick person and otherwise i could also have contracted that disease i could also have uh, got this that disease sadly and sternly master become very sad and very much uh, serious her teacher gazed at her he, uh, teacher had looked at her continuously and said if you want to serve god you he told her you would have to serve your fellow man i already said that if you want to serve god you have to serve your fellow man you would have to serve your fellow man in every person you should see the image and likeness of god when you will see that person like the image of a god then only you can serve that person he told her to go back and master told the uh, told lua to go back and serve that man because you have to see the face image of god in that person and you serve him like a god and said if the house is dirty you should clean it if the man is hungry you should feed him the master had done all these course many times for that man he told lua that she should also be able to do it this was master told that every day i was doing this job i you have to feed that hungry people uh, person if uh, the house is dirty you have to clean it if it is very much miserable state you can make it him happy all this work i am doing every day so you can also do this this is how the master taught lua to serve her fellow man like this master taught lua to serve the fellow man how can you serve Lua went back and served the patient as the master had taught her, and Lua also followed uh, her master's advice, and she went immediately back and served the patient as master had advised. The master was pleased with Lua and further exhorted her, "Look at me, follow me, be as I am." And master said that I am very happy, Lua. You have followed my instruction, and you see me and be as I am. that means as i am doing the service like that also you should do and you can learn to serve others take no thought of yourself or your lives whether ye eat or whether ye sleep whether you ye are comfortable whether ye are well or ill whether ye are with the friends or foes you don't think about yourself you are don't think about your life you will survive or you will die and you don't think whether you are sleeping or not you are eating or not that you are comfortable or not you should think about the person only to whom you are serving you don't think about yourself and if, if you are serving your friend or your enemy that also you should not think if your enemy is also seek needs help then you should help your enemy also whether you yes, receive praise or blame if anyone is praising you or not if anyone is blaming you then also you have to do your service for all of these things ye must care not at all you should not care for these all worldly things all world, worldly things and you should serve selflessly to that person look at me and be as i am ye must die to yourselves and to the world so that ye be born again and enter the kingdom of heaven that means you have to die to give the service to others you do, so you should not think about yourself you should not think that the world uh, worldly things that anyone is praising you not you will die or survive don't think if you will die then again you will uh, be born to the kingdom of heaven you will go to the kingdom of heaven behold a candle how it gives its light it weaves its life away drop by drop in order to give forth its flame of light you should learn from candle that how candle is burning drop by drop the candle is burning and losing its life to give flame to others so you learn from the candle to give your life for others to help others candle is giving light to the others and it is drop by drop the candle wax is burning and losing at last it is getting over and finishing its life to serve others like that you should also think about others happiness others uh, you have to help without thinking about yourself that is actually service so service to man is service to god so lua uh, master had taught lua to serve man as a god see the images of 
God in the man. Then only you can serve others, and that is also a worthy life. So this is all about this story, and the, about the service we have learnt many things that we should serve others. Thank you, all of you. We will meet in the next class again. Thank. You.